Hello, my name is Paul Stockdale from ABCPE, the site where we try and make VCE physical education as easy as ABC. Today I want to talk about impulse. Um, always like to start with the definition, and that definition is uh, impulse equals the change in momentum of a body, remembering that momentum is mass times velocity. Uh, next step is looking at an equation, and that equation is force times time. So if we want to increase the change in momentum of a body, we should apply as large a force as possible for as long a time as possible. In the case of the picture there, of course, um, a bat hitting a ball, we're trying to change the momentum of that ball uh, that is hit it as far and as fast as we possibly can. Um, that change in momentum is going to be large, but there'll be no change in mass, of course. Um, so most of the change in momentum is going to come, in fact, all of it's going to come from a change in velocity. Uh, plenty of sporting examples where, try, where we're trying to increase impulse to as much as possible. Uh, the baseball that's trying to hit the ball as far as possible is going to apply as great a force as possible over as long a period as, of time as they can. And they do that by following through and keeping that bat on the ball. Uh, discus, shot put, all of these types of sports where they've developed a technique, um, the rotation technique, for example, where they're applying force on the shot put or the discus, for as long as they possibly can, will increase impulse, increase change of momentum, and send the shot put and discus flying as far as possible. It works the other way as well. Um, the same principle of impulse um, can be used for receiving forces. For example, if I'm fielding in the outfield in a cricket game and the ball comes my way, I'm going to want to catch that ball and reduce its momentum to zero. Uh, now, I can't change the, mo the impulse in that instance, but what I can do is I can receive that ball over a long period of time by giving with my hands. And when I do that, I actually decrease the force that's exerted on my hands. A gymnast, as you can see, landing will land with bent knees so that the forces of the ground going through the body are reduced because they're receiving that force over a larger period of time. I've made a video to explain it in a little bit, a little bit better. So here I am with an egg. And you see it's important that I'm going to give, but I don't give in the first two. I use what's called hard hands, that is I'm receiving the force over a very short period of time. In the second ones, you can see I'm giving uh, with my hands, can't quite see it there, but this next one, giving with my hands, increasing the time that I receive that force and therefore decreasing the force, which means that the egg won't break. break. Here I am jumping like a, a gymnast onto the floor, no leg bend at all, lots of force received over a short period of time and a very sore back as a result. In this one, I give with the knees, force received over a long period of time, decreases the force, Bob's your uncle, no knee injury. Okay, so here's an example of a batter here uh, looking to play a block, and you can see it's a uh, very short follow through. Therefore, the ball doesn't go very far, so you can imagine a cricket block like that. And this is an example of a cover drive, the difference being a follow-through. So, same amount of force applied over a longer period of time, generating greater impulse, greater change of mo in momentum, and um, therefore a bigger cricket shot. Okay, so hopefully that clarifies it enough that we can tackle this uh, VCAR question. I'll give you an opportunity to read it now. All right, let's unpack it. Uh, so some athletes are doing a vertical jump test and we need to use impulse to explain why they need to land correctly. Um, the way that I would tackle this is with the deep principles. So start by defining uh, what impulse is. We need to show understanding of impulse. The best way to do that is to say that impulse is uh, a change in momentum. I then go on to the equation, which uh, is equal to force times time, and then use the example uh, that they give us. So the vertical jump test, the athletes need to land uh, by bending their knees, and in bending their knees, they are increasing the time over which the force is received in their legs, therefore decreasing the force received by their legs and avoiding any injury. Three marks, how did you go? There's an exemplar, hopefully you got pretty close to that. Uh, my name's been Paul Stockdale. Thank you very much for watching ABCPE. If you need any more information uh, on resources, tutoring, uh, exam seminars, please go to our website at www.abcpe.com.au.
I'll see you next time. Thank you.